Land Rover's fifth generation Discovery continues to offer the toughest, the most practical and the most capable choice in the large SUV sector, especially in this much improved form. It's now more sophisticated both in the cabin and under the bonnet, yet it continues to have its own authentic appeal. In many ways, it's the most complete expression of the Land Rover brand. There's something rather grand about driving a Discovery. If you can't afford a fully-fledged Range Rover, is this car not the Range Rover Sport that gets closest to emulating that plutocratic model's imperious gait, high seating position and easy ride comfort? From behind the wheel, you get a great view of the road ahead and a real feeling of control that on tarmac is now aided by improvements made to the steering, the anti-roll bars, the dampers and the springs of the standard air suspension system. A more fundamental change is found in the adoption of Land Rover's EVA 2.0 electrical vehicle architecture, which has made it possible for the brand to introduce a fresh range of electrified mild hybrid straight six three litre Ingenium engines. Most will want a diesel, either the base D250 or the D300 variant that we're trying here. These figures designating the braked horsepower outputs. There's also a mild hybrid petrol unit too, the P360. Plus Land Rover also continues to offer a more conventional two litre four cylinder engine in the base P300 variant. All discoveries continue to come with smooth eight speed auto transmission and the six cylinder versions can be fitted with a twin speed gearbox with a low range setting for really tough off road work. Should you venture onto challenging trails, you'll be glad of the terrain response system that'll allow you to set the car up specifically for the ground that you're covering. An optional advanced off-road capability pack upgrades this setup to even more capable terrain response to status. And that pack adds to further features, configurable terrain response, which allows you to alter the settings of the differentials, the powertrain, steering, and the traction control. And uh, you get in the pack the brand's clever all-terrain progress control system, essentially a low-speed cruise control set up for off-piste driving. Land Rover says that so equipped, this Discovery is one of the most capable 4x4s it's ever made. Most owners, though, will be more interested in a 3.5-ton brake towing capability that's massively greater than direct rivals can offer. Those competitors can deliver slightly better efficiency stats, but this discovery has narrowed that gap. This D300 diesel variant able to manage up to 33.9 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and up to 218 grams per kilometer of CO2. Time to take a seat inside. Once installed in the driver's chair, you get a commanding view of the road ahead that locates your eyeline several inches above where it would be in a German rival. In that respect, this car is similar to its Range Rover Sport showroom stablemate, but this cabin, quite intentionally, lacks the purposeful driver positioning of that car and some of the sheer indulgence of its fixtures and fittings. It does, however, in this improved form, gain more Range Rover Sport-like controls, this Sport Select gear lever replacing the old rising gear shift dial, and this four-spoke wheel instead of the more old-fashioned Range Rover style item. This cabin is also significantly more sophisticated than it used to be, primarily because of its adopted screen tech, this much bigger 11.4 inch PIVI Pro central infotainment monitor and an even larger 12.3 inch interactive driver display which replaces conventional dials in the instrument binnacle. As before, there's a clean, fresh, almost Scandinavian quality to the design, delivering a premium feeling very much able to equal what you get in obvious rivals. Previous Discovery models had rather too many white clean rubberized surfaces to feel really upmarket, but this one is much better. Enough on media, now let's get practical. Cabin storage provision was an area in which the fifth generation Discovery took a big step forward at its original launch, and it's still impressive. The cleverest touch is this one, a little piano black trimmed compartment hidden behind the ventilation controls, ideal for stashing valuables out of sight. You might also be impressed by the fact that there are separate upper and lower glove boxes and there's plenty on the lower centre console between the seats. 
sliding back this cover next to the redesigned gear stick reveals a couple of cup holders which in turn slide back to reveal a deep compartment beneath. For the back is this deep lidded box. When you lift its lid you'll find USB A and C ports plus a useful lift out tray beneath which is a deep compartment capable of holding up to four iPads or if you want to put drinks or snacks down here you can specify this area to be refrigerated. Right, let's move rearwards. Now, though this middle compartment can't quite match the roomy feel you get in a rival Volvo XC90, there's 960 millimetres of legroom. So, it's significantly more spacious than a longer Audi Q7 can manage to be. Each seat can manually slide back and forth, and you can electrically recline the backrests too. Space here is really very good by class standards, this being one of the only large seven-seat SUVs that really can take two full-sized adults back here with any real degree of comfort. This stepped roofline uh, helps in that regard, making possible this so-called stadium seating arrangement that sees these rear seats positioned higher up than those at the front, so you get a better view out. Let's finish by taking a look at the boot. Unlike pre-2017 older generation discoveries, it features a single piece tailgate, which means it can be power operated with an optional foot gesture control feature. Now inside, some of the tailgate picnic style functionality from older generation models is retained thanks to this welcome electrically deployable seat panel. When you power it back up, it helps to secure luggage in place. There's a 258 litre cargo capacity with all the seats upright. Flatten the third row chairs, which is easy even if you haven't got the electric rear seat folding option fitted, and a huge 1,137 litres of carrying capacity will be freed up. That rises further to a massive 2,391 litres of total capacity if you flatten the second row too. The world takes on a different appearance from behind the wheel of a Land Rover Discovery. It always did, and it still does. At the helm, you know you're in a car that can take on just about anything, be that a 7-up trip to the Alps or a relaxing ride home on a wet and slippery winter's night. Thanks to a clever, classless feel that nothing else can quite replicate, it brings a wonderful authenticity to its market segment. Enough to make it the world's ultimate family SUV? Well, that depends on your perspective. The current Defender also lays claim to that title which perhaps is why Land Rover has made this improved discovery just a bit better suited to tarmac territory. Plus, this Disco is usefully cheaper than a Defender and more comfortable in the third row. If these things tip the balance in its favour for you, then you'll find that what you get here is very definitely the genuine article. One thing's for certain, there's nothing else quite like it.